Hey everybody, and welcome back to Repacked Gems. Um, thanks for watching our channel. Um, you know, most of our videos so far have been about what you can get in our packs, what kind of quality cards we have in there, and um, which cards we put in there. But uh, today I wanted to make a little quick video about things we don't put into our packs. Um, and all these cards here that you see have some sort of flaw or damage to them. So this is going to be kind of a little bit of a quality control video just so you can kind of see what things you won't find in our packs. Um, starting off, um, you know, you can see here on these tops cards, I think this is the 83, 83 top set, uh, miscuts, uh, off cut, you know, um, almost cutting right to the image. We always try to pull those out, um, even though the cards might be nice. Other than that, um, we just don't want that kind of stuff in our packs. Um, same with all these. We, we go, th we buy a lot of sets and then we make, you know, what we do is we mix it all together to make the packs. Um, and you can see, we find, as we go through the sets, we can find these cards. There's an 81, but um, we can find these cards that have some kind of damage to them um, corner damage, um, wrinkles. We just try to pull all those out. Um, some of these checklists might actually be okay. We don't really like to see checklists. Uh, some people might disagree with me on that. Um, some people like them, but, um, we just don't like to see them in there. We don't want to waste one of your 25 cards in the pack with a checklist. Um, that, that one's actually filled out. Someone wrote on that one. Um, so, so, you know, we just go through and we pull any of that kind of stuff. This cuts again. Um, you know, way off center, um, you know, some cards, if they're a little off center, of course, you know, that's fine, but, um, things with major damage like this, so you can see a big wrinkle in that one. Um, you know, we always try to get those out of there. Um, uh, here's one of our 85 top sets, um, had to pull quite a few of those out. You can see there's a lot of corner damage, stains, um, very off center. Um, so we just, we really go through it, you know, no matter who the player is, if it's, if it's not in good condition, we really don't want to send it out to anybody. Um, that's just not really what we're in business to do. Um, you can even see here, this was really disappointing. This card, um, could have been a really nice card. It, the Ozzy Smith 1980 tops. I mean, the corners were, mint the centering was really good except for maybe top and bottom were a little off but there was a i don't know if you can see it in the camera but there's a nice wrinkle that goes right through it almost looks like somebody stepped on it so very unfortunate because that could have been a nice card that would have been probably an eight or a nine if it was graded um but yeah we can't put that in our in our packs like that um same with this this is the uh 1989 uh ken griffey jr tops traded card um, and at first glance, it looks pretty good, um, but on the back here, there is a wrinkle that goes right through the number. Another unfortunate card, but um, yeah, that, that one will never find its way into any of our packs as well. Um, things like this, the uh, Kmart cards, the, you know, these off-brand, these weird brand cards. Some people really like these, I think. Um, I don't. I just don't care for them, so I pull them. I don't put any of these into our packs. We only put, you know, the top name card brands into our packs. There's actually no damage with this aside from the normal yellowing that happens to these cards that I've seen. Um, but yeah, again, I just don't care for those, so I don't put them in. Um, Tom Glavin rookies, uh, we got some of these that had, you can see the damage, surface damage to them. Um, this one's probably the best one, but again, it still had some, some damage on it. So, um, again, those won't find their way in. Um, just things like that. We're, you know, we're very particular about what we're putting into our packs and what we're, we're not. Um, oh, there's some more. You can see some water damage on, on these guys. So, yeah, I mean, just anything like that will never find its way into our packs. At least we try really hard to find everyone that we can. Something might slip by, but, um, you know, quality control is really important to us. Um, with that said, um, you know, I don't want anyone to think that we're, you know, trying to sell uh, our junk or anything. But if you would like to have these cards um, and you're thinking about placing an order with us, place an order for one of our boxes 
and we'll send you these these damage cards for free if you want them. Um, again, uh, you know, we're not trying to give, <laughs> we're not trying to sell you on our damage stuff, but I have nothing to do with these um, other than box them up and store them. Um, I'd hate to throw them away. I just, I, I don't want to throw away baseball cards. It's just not something I like to do. So um, again, if you want them, um, place an order with, you know, one of our boxes. There's extra room in our shipping um, box when we ship these. Um, when we ship our 10 pack boxes that we could fit this in there and I'll just, you know, we'll eat the cost of the extra weight on the shipping and just ship it with your box. Um, when you place an order with us on our website, you can put in a note, just put into the note there that, Hey, I want those, or please send me those, um, damaged cards. I'd like them for, you know, set building, or maybe I just want to have them cause I like, um, you know, some of the players I'm seeing on there. Um, I'm happy to send them to you. I really have nothing to do with them. So, um, yeah, again, um, that's uh, repacked uh, gems. Um, our 80s gems baseball cards are now available on our website, as you probably know. And um, thank you for watching.